my name is Sachi Venkatraman, uh, Professor in Aerospace Engineering. It's my pleasure to introduce uh, our speaker today, Dr. Pavel Popov, who is an assistant professor in the Department of Aerospace Engineering in the area of propulsions. Uh, his expertise is in computational modeling of reactive turbulent flows or turbulent reactive flows, particularly looking at plasma assisted combustion in recent years. So today he's going to share with us some recent work that he's done. So Pavel, without taking any more of your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Sachi. And, um, and thank you, thank you everybody for, um, for coming to my talk. Um, so today uh, I will talk about um, Today, today's talk will be will be uh, will be slightly uh, mathematical, and uh, I will talk about some improvements that I that I recently had the idea for in uh, in uh, PDF methods methods for turbulent combustion. So the title of the talk is alternatives to the Bennett distribution in assumed PDF methods for turbulent reactive flows. And um, if uh, any of you have experience with um, uh, with um, with PDF methods for combustion, you you know you know that the uh, Bennett distribution is uh, used a lot. So uh, it is uh, useful to take a second look at it. Okay, uh, okay uh, so let me give an outline uh, for my talk. Uh, first, I'll give an introduction where I uh, briefly uh, uh, explain uh, what are PDF methods for turbulent combustion and why do we care about them. Uh, and I will, uh, I will explain the difference between, the, between two of the main types of uh, PDF methods, uh, transport and uh, assumed PDF methods, uh, both of which will uh, come up in this talk. And uh, then um, I will, um, I will um, explain my development process of, uh, of the new um, probability distributions, which uh, I claim uh, uh, do a better job than the, than the better distribution. And um, I'll start with, um, um, uh, with uh, introducing the uh, strong maximum principle, which uh, a lot of us know, um, are familiar with from partial differential equations and uh, what, what implications it has for this um, uh, setting. Uh, and uh, then um, I will, I will uh, introduce a simple uh, around chickens in a vacuum kind of uh, uh, model problem, which, um, um, which um, the, new, the, new, the new types of, um, of, uh, of distributions uh, get exactly. And, um, and these new dis distributions are built um, around, this, um, around, around this problem, but, uh, but, are, but um, are, are also shown to be um, um, uh, more accurate than the better distribution in, in, in other uh, PDF settings. Uh, then um, I will uh, define the new distributions and, um, and uh, I'll define some extensions which I want to uh, get in, into in this talk. And uh, then uh, we'll get into, into testing and, and results. Uh, you know, it is all well and good uh, talking about, um, about, uh, uh, about, you know, the theoretical um, drawbacks of, of, the, of, the, of the better distributions, distribution, but uh, we need to measure something uh, quantitatively to see if we're, if we're doing better. Um, and um, to test how well our, uh, the new distributions are doing, I'll compare the, um, um, I'll compare um, um, with um, uh, transport PDF methods, which are inherently uh, more accurate. And uh, finally, I'll get into conclusions in future work. Okay, so PDF methods for combustion. Uh, the reason why we have PDF methods for combustion is uh, because modeling the reaction source term uh, in turbulent combustion is perhaps the most challenging uh, aspect of uh, turbulent combustion modeling uh, because uh, uh, in standard Arrhenius chemistry, the reaction source term is uh, K equals um, uh, some sort of uh, constant dependent on the concentration times something which is a weekly uh, dependent on temperature and then times uh, the exponential factor, which is uh, very strongly dependent on, on temperature because, uh, uh, because uh, it, is, it is an exponential function. Uh, and uh, in, a, in a turbulent uh, reactive flow, the, uh, the, the subcrit uh, distribution of um, temperature, that is, that is to say uh, the, the different uh, values that the temperature may have at the same, at the same point in time, uh, can uh, can have a range over several several hundred degrees. So uh, this is um, uh, this is an example from um, from uh, some some of my uh, earlier work where I simulated a, a both body um, a, a both body flame, and uh, th th this is an example of a temperature uh, scalar plot versus a mixture fraction for one specific uh, uh, part part in the flame. So. Uh, 
Uh, here, here we have the mean temperature for the mixture fraction, and we see that there is quite a lot of variation. You know, some, um, for example, around stoichiometric uh, between uh, 1,000 kelvins and, uh, and uh, 2,000 kelvins. So uh, this has important uh, implications on uh, on uh, how uh, can we approximate um, uh, the mean the mean uh, um, the mean source term because um, uh, if uh, the source term uh, varies exponentially uh, in uh, temperature and and uh, and, uh, and the temperature uh, varies uh, between a thousand kelvins and uh, two thousand kelvins um, in in uh, that range uh, the, the in that range the source term uh, may uh, may uh, may vary over uh, several orders orders of uh, magnitude. So uh, if, uh, for example, uh, we were in the range 1000, 2000 kelvins and, uh, and, we want to, and we had a mean temperature of uh, 1500 kelvins, uh, we really have no uh, chance of getting a correct um, uh, source term by just pl plugging in that uh, mean temperature into this equation. Uh, because um, uh, because uh, this, um, uh, this equation over most of the, of the temperature interval is, uh, is a highly uh, uh, con convex, convex uh, f function. So, um, because uh, because the uh, source term is um, is convex in temperature over over most of, of the of the temperature range, uh, uh, that uh, that that means that means that uh, uh, not not only is it is it um, uh, very unlikely that that, um, uh, that uh, we can get um, that we can get a, a correct estimate uh, for the for the average source term, but uh, in fact, uh, Jensen's inequality from mathematics uh, pretty much guarantees that. Uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, if we just uh, plug in the mean temperature, we'll always underestimate the, the true uh, mean source term. And uh, therein lies the attractiveness of uh, PDF methods because they completely avoid this issue. So uh, in, um, in a PDF solution, uh, we are not just solving for the, for the temperature, uh, like the average temperature or, uh, and, and the temperature variance uh, at a given point, uh, but uh, rather we have uh, a representation of the subgrid distribution of temperature at that point. So, so basically we have, we have some sort of representation of a probability distribution which, uh, gi which gives us something close to this uh, scalar clock. And uh, this, uh, this, uh, um, uh, di this, this subgrid, this uh, subgrid distribution can be, uh, can be directly integrated uh, to get um, uh, the average uh, reaction source term without modeling assumptions and without having to plug in the average temperature. So this is, um, uh, this, this is why um, um, PDF methods are, are so, so attractive in combustion. And uh, PDF methods, um, different, 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 different people will tell you different things, but, uh, but uh, they, uh, they are generally, um, I generally classify them into two types. Uh, transported PDF methods and uh, assumed PDF methods. So uh, transported PDF methods um, uh, were, um, uh, their use um, in combustion was uh, popularized by uh, uh, Stephen Pope in his uh, 1985 paper. And uh, in, in transported uh, PDF methods, um, uh, the uh, probability density function of the subgrid composition evolves uh, by an appropriate uh, Fokker-Planck equation. And, uh, and, uh, and, and you might think, uh, well, great, uh, let, let us just uh, let us just integrate uh, this uh, this Fokker-Planck equation. However, this Fokker-Planck equation is a uh, is a uh, uh, is a one scalar equation on a on a very high dimension dimensional domain because uh, this uh, this PDF uh, is a function uh, not only of the spatial variables uh, but uh, but also of all the composition variables. So uh, so 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 then uh, for example uh, if uh, if um, if uh, you are you are discretizing um, uh, if you are doing a solution with uh, with something like a, a 100 uh, to 200 species uh, uh, species chemical chemical mechanism uh, you you really have uh, have have no way of of um, of um, of uh, di of discretizing uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this equation because uh, because uh, di because this equation will live on a, on a 200 uh, dimensional domain so. Uh, the grid, the grid, the grid will, will have a massive amount of uh, grid points, uh, which no computer can do right now. Okay, and uh, to avoid having to discretize this equation ex ex explicitly, we uh, we can use um, we can use a Monte Carlo approach, uh, where um, uh, the uh, the probability density density function of the composition is uh, represented by an ensemble of particles, and uh, these particles uh, evolve uh, uh, by a stochastic uh, differential equation. And their locations evolved by stochastic differential equation. So this is 
uh, this is um, uh, the drift term dt uh, plus the uh, diffusion term uh, dwj, where here um, um, uh, dwj is the vector value to winner increment. And uh, usually, usually uh, the, the composition of, uh, of each particle will evolve by uh, some, uh, some uh, source term, which is uh, usually deterministic. And uh, this source term accounts for both chemical reaction and, uh, and uh, uh, molecular mixing. And uh, transport uh, PDF, PDF methods uh, have been shown to be quite successful for uh, flames with uh, significant um, uh, turbulence uh, chemistry interactions. So, uh, so here, for example, uh, I'm showing uh, I'm showing the, um, an example of, uh, of, um, of uh, some research um, uh, uh, which, which I did um, um, during, 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 during my, my PhD with, uh, with Steve Popa, where, where, we, where we simulated um, um, uh, the uh, Sandia Sydney uh, block body flame. And uh, we got, we got uh, for, uh, for a case with a very significant uh, amount of local extinction, we got, um, we got, a, fair, we got a fairly good uh, match of, uh, of the experimentally observed uh, degree of, uh, of local extinction. So um, uh, this, uh, this uh, specific setting, uh, flames uh, which, are, which, are, which are highly strained and experience, and experience a, lot of, uh, a lot of local extinction uh, is, um, is, uh, is especially suitable for, uh, for transported um, uh, PDF methods because um, there are a lot of uh, turbulent, turbulence chemistry interactions and uh, and uh, you you would like to have uh, the most uh, the most uh, de detailed uh, representation of of the of the subgrid um, uh, variation of the composition. Now, one drawback that uh, transport PDF methods have, uh, however, is that um, uh, usually uh, we're solving them um, um, uh, with a, with a Monte Carlo ensemble. Um, this ensemble will make consist of either particles or Eulerian fields. That would be a, a, a Valerian and Sibonikov's approach, which I, I haven't mentioned here, but should be mentioned. And uh, this Monte Carlo ensemble converges uh, with a rate of a uh, number of samples to, to the minus uh, one half power. So this is a slow stochastic convergence. And uh, in my experience, for example, uh, running, running this, um, uh, these simulations, uh, you usually need uh, around uh, 30 to 50 uh, particles per cell uh, for an accurate uh, uh, for for a, an accurate solution. So then, so then, uh, then that mean, that means that, that means that uh, however many grid cells you have uh, in in your grid, uh, multiply multiply that by about uh, thirty. Okay. So uh, so um, uh, transport uh, transport uh, PDF PDF uh, PDF uh, methods uh, have um, uh, have uh, have have alternatives uh, which are which are which are which are faster for. Uh, for certain flames, um, uh, which aren't uh, that uh, quite that hard to model, so uh, not that, not every flame uh, needs uh, needs a transport PDF solution, um, and uh, and uh, especially if the flame uh, doesn't experience a signif significant uh, local extinction, we can we can apply a, a different a different class of of, um, of PDF solutions, which are called the assumed PDF methods, which. Uh, which uh, don't model the subgrid uh, this distribution quite that accurately, accurately but um, they require a lot less computational cost. So the idea of assumed PDF methods is that if we have a good idea for the behavior of the subgrid distribution, uh, we can um, assume a functional shape for it. So for example, the uh, beta distribution, and uh, and uh, then um, we can we can just uh, solve partial differential equations for the. Um, uh, for the means and and uh, and uh, variances of a specific um, of a specific um, variable such as a mixture fraction or an appropriate variable, and uh, those um, those means and variables will give us the sub, um, will uniquely define the subgrid distribution at a particular point. So uh, here, for example, I have um, I I have I have a plot a quantile plot of the uh, of the beta distribution, which is um, which is the red curve. Uh, versus um, um, versus the actual um, actual uh, sub subgrid uh, di distribution as predicted by a transport PDF me method, and uh, and uh, versus um, the new the new distributions which I'm introducing in this talk, and uh, and uh, all and all and all of those uh, four uh, four distributions uh, have uh, have exactly the same uh, the same mean and uh, variance. So basic, basically, uh, uh, the the blue the blue curve uh, is uh, is uh, the ground truth, and uh, then 
and then the the red and the, and the black curves are uh, some some family of curves which are, uh, which uh, which have the same modes. Okay, so for example, if we are mixture fraction, we can um, we can uh, parameterize it by the mean mixture fraction and the mean mixture fraction uh, square. And uh, this is the uh, basis for the uh, laminar flamelet model, which was uh, first uh, which was uh, first introduced by uh, by Williams and Peters, and um, and uh, for, for that you, you can uh, you can uh, look uh, um, at their um, 1983 paper, which um, is um, um, at, at the end of this um, talk. I, I have a reference to it. And, uh, and uh, assumed PDF methods were further popularized by Pierce and Moyne's um, uh, flamelet uh, progress variable approach from 2004, um, um, in uh, which uh, Pierce, uh, Pierce, uh, Pierce and uh, Moyne uh, extended uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the laminar flamelet model, which was, uh, which was um, uh, primarily for, for uh, for non-premixed uh, premixed flames um, uh, to be uh, applicable to situations where the flame is uh, partially premixed by including a progress variable. And um, and um, here uh, in uh, in uh, this in this talk, uh, I'm I'm interested uh, in uh, in um, in uh, seeing if uh, if uh, we can we can push the uh, the state of the art in uh, assuming PDF methods because uh, even though. I myself am a transport PDF uh, PDF guy, and uh, transport PDF methods are inherently more accurate. Um, flamelet and uh, flamelet uh, progress variable models are are among the uh, most uh, wide, widely used in in combustion, and uh, and uh, the reason for that is is uh, is uh, is that uh, even 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 today, uh, most combustion simulations are small by necessity. So you know uh, most most uh, most uh, Combustion uh, simulations uh, do not do not do not look like a, uh, like one of us um, running running uh, running uh, one week uh, simulation on, on several on several hundred or several several thousand cars. Uh, no, uh, they they uh, they usually they 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 usually look like um, uh, like uh, an engineer running running a, a sim a sim. A simple, a simple simulation uh, over overnight uh, on on a workstation to 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 explore the parameter space of a design. So uh, so for those um, for those types of simulations, uh, assumed PDF methods are quite suitable uh, because uh, because uh, they uh, they don't need a particle ens ensemble and uh, they and they can ju just solve for a couple of scalars. Okay, so then uh, this uh, this brings me for uh, for. Um, Sorry, was there a question? Okay. Uh, so, so uh, this this brings me to my to my motivation for uh, for this work. So, um, most uh, assumed PDF methods uh, use uh, a mixture fraction z and a progress variable c to uh, define the composition. And uh, here, I will uh, I will focus on the modeling of mixture fraction. So, usually, we define uh, z to be z equals one to be pure fuel, and we define z equals zero to be pure oxidizer. And uh, almost all uh, assumed PDF methods uh, use the Bayer distribution as the uh, assumed uh, distribution for the mixture fraction. So um, uh, the, the, the Bayer distribution uh, we all we all know and love. Uh, so um, uh, for for the parameters uh, mean, mu, and um, and uh, variance uh, sigma squared, the Bayer distribution uh, beta of the samples uh, of the sample variable z would look uh, like. Uh, z to the power of p minus one times one minus z to the power of t minus one, nor normalized, normalized uh, by the integral of that uh, over the sample space zero to one. And uh, for the interest of uh, uh, for the interest of uh, brevity, I won't uh, explain how p and uh, q are obtained, but uh, they are simple functions of the mean and variance. And uh, there are good reasons why uh, there are good reasons why almost all APDF methods use the uh, beta dis distribution. And uh, those uh, reasons are that uh, the beta distribution uh, has uh, enough uh, flexibility to approximate both uh, both single peak and uh, dual peak uh, di distributions uh, in the mixture fraction. And uh, and uh, and both of, uh, of and uh, both of those are, are important in uh, combustion because uh, uh, you would see a uh, dual peak uh, di di a dual peak uh, distribution uh, where you have uh, uh, where you have uh, 
uh, fuel and uh, oxidizer, which are brought uh, brought uh, in in close proximity uh, by the turbulent flow, but uh, they have they haven't uh, yet been mixed uh, by molecular diffusion. And uh, conversely, you would see a single peak distribution where you have uh, fuel and oxidizer and the molecular diffusion has been acting on them for a while. So they're completely mixed. And, uh, and uh, why uh, and uh, how I particularly um, uh, got into, 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 into this uh, problem is uh, that um, um, as, as we all know, uh, in um, uh, for most uh, numerical methods, uh, there is uh, there is usually uh, there is usually a simple case for which the uh, numerical approximation is exactly correct. So, to, to, so to give you an, an example which has uh, nothing to do with the turbulence combustion, uh, if we are talking about uh, about uh, derivative uh, discretization schemes and uh, and um, and uh, our function is a is a quadratic polynomial, pretty much uh, pretty, pretty much uh, every second order. Uh, discretization scheme will get the derivative not only to second order error, but uh, it will get exactly. So then uh, I was thinking, well, uh, what kind of uh, transport, uh, uh, what kind of uh, transport uh, diffusion solution uh, can the beta distribution model exactly? And uh, and uh, the surprising answer is is um, is, is that uh, the beta distribution cannot cannot model a single transport. Uh, diffusion solution exactly, and uh, and uh, we can actually prove that with mathematical precision. So uh, and uh, and you know uh, this this uh, isn't uh, me uh, criticizing uh, past use of uh, of uh, of uh, Bayer distributions uh, in assumed uh, PDF me me methods uh, because uh, the effect the effectiveness of of the method uh, speaks for itself. But uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, shows uh, an avenue for improvement of, of these methods, uh, which um, which uh, which uh, we we can explore to make these these methods uh, slightly more accurate. Okay, so uh, so why why can uh, why cannot the uh, beta distribution um, um, get get exactly a single transport diffusion equation? Well, uh, because of the strong maximum principle in uh, in uh, partial differential equations. So, uh, in particular, um, uh, in in particular, the basic uh, transport uh, diffusion equation for the mixture fraction variable would look something like this. You know, this is this is this is this is just um, uh, this is just uh, 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 a density way that um, uh, could convective derivative in conservative form, and we have and uh, we have we have here the the molecular diffusion of uh, the mixture fraction. Okay, so now uh, with uh, this in mind, let's remember the strong maximum principle of uh, partial differential equations, and uh, I'm I'm sure that uh, that uh, that most of us has, have seen it in the context of the Laplace equation. So if we have the Laplace equation on some uh, domain uh, u, so we have uh, u here, uh, then uh, then uh, then uh, one one of uh, two things will happen: either uh, the solution has to be constant uh, on the entire u. Or, uh, or the uh, minima and uh, and uh, maxima can uh, can can only be uh, be seen on the boundary of you. Uh, so, uh, what I what is uh, the implication of uh, of uh, this uh, for uh, turbulent combustion? Well, uh, in turbulent combustion, our, our domain will be the computational domain, and we'll have um, we'll have one boundary conditions where one boundary condition where we have the fuel inlet where Z is equal to one, and one boundary conditions where we have the oxidizer inlet with uh, Z equal to zero. And uh, then, and then the strong the strong maximum principle uh, tells us that uh, that uh, z uh, cannot be either zero or one on the interior of this domain. Yes. Okay. Okay, and uh, this uh, this. Uh, the result which are which we're all familiar is for the Laplace equation, but uh, it has been extended by mathematicians, for example, by Evans in 2010 in 2010 for transport diffusion equations in a non-conservative form, and most likely that isn't uh, the earliest such extension. And uh, also, uh, I extended it uh, myself uh, this year for an ensemble of um, fields uh, for. Um, uh, uh, for an ensemble of uh, fields in in the in the, um, the uh, non-deterministic uh, setting, so this uh, this uh, this work is uh, is currently in review at uh, JSP. 
And uh, the upshot of the uh, strong maximum principle is that, uh, is that uh, on the interior of the domain, we cannot, we, we cannot have uh, either um, a z equal to zero or z equal to one. So the mixture fraction on the interior of the, of the domain has to be strictly between uh, zero and one. Well, uh, this, uh, this is uh, bad news for the Bayer distribution because uh, it's, uh, it's support uh, without fail, just by its functional form, is the entire, is, uh, the entire sample space between uh, zero and one. Okay, so uh, here let me show you the bad, the bad distribution again. Here we have the uh, uh, here we have a quantile plot, and uh, and uh, as we can see on this uh, quantile plot, the bad distribution uh, goes from zero and uh, and uh, stretches all the way to one. Now uh, contrast uh, that with the actual uh, uh, probability distribution as obtained by a transported PDF method, where the probability distribution starts from um, something small but not zero, and tends at uh, something large but uh, not quite one. Okay, so uh, for, uh, for, for th this reason, the Bayer, the Bayer distribution can never be exactly correct. And, uh, and uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, il it illustrates uh, one, one way in, in which we can improve on the Bayer distribution by proposing a, a new type of, uh, of distribution, which does uh, satisfy the strong maximum principle. Okay, uh, now before I get into, uh, uh, into describing the actual distributions, uh, I need to uh, I need to um, uh, give a couple of words about uh, about representations of uh, probability distributions. So uh, most uh, distributions that we know, specifically the Bayer distributions, are given in terms of their probability density function, which is uh, basically a function over the entire sample space uh, that tells us uh, uh, with what probability can I find my var uh, random variable at this part of the sample space. So, uh, for example, if we have a distribution uh, given in terms of the PDF, if we want, if we want to evaluate some sort of st statistic, so some sort of function of the, uh, of the, of the mixture fraction, then uh, we will take the integral over the entire sample space of uh, rho times uh, that function of uh, z times the probability death function. However, this isn't the only way to define a probability distribution. Uh, so, uh, one, uh, one alternative uh, definition uh, if uh, we're dealing with a one-dimensional random variable is uh, to use the cumulative distribution function, which is, uh, which is by definition just the integral from uh, minus infinity to, um, uh, to a specific point of, um, of, uh, of the probability uh, distribution function. Uh, just uh, one, uh, uh, just uh, one, one, one small apology in this uh, equation. I just saw that uh, uh, the should be z prime something. Okay, and, uh, and uh, if we define something by the cumulative distribution function, we can uh, just as easily define it by the quantile function, which uh, by definition is just the inverse of the um, cumulative distribution function. Okay, so here we have the quantile functions of, uh, of the two uh, uh, PDF and, uh, and a couple of uh, models. So, uh, so, so then uh, just, um, uh, just uh, if, we, if we flip the, uh, the axis of this, of this plot, we'll get the, the CDFs. And quantile functions are also quite useful for comparing uh, sample sample uh, di sample dis distributions uh, because uh, uh, because uh, they aren't as uh, as uh, rough as as the sample PDF, which is uh, just going to be a collection of direct deltas. Okay, and uh, and uh, finally, the approach to that uh, that uh, I use uh, is uh, is uh, to just um, uh, is is uh, to just uh, do a direct uh, a direct uh, spec specification on a on a on a probability space. So uh, so uh, probability space is 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 just um, is just uh, some sort of uh, space with a measure which uh, uh, which uh, which integrates to one. So so then um, so then if uh, for every uh, omega in this probability space uh, big omega. Uh, which um, uh, li little little o omega is is going is going to be called an event. Uh, if uh, for for every little omega I I I specify the uh, the value of the mixture fra fraction, then uh, then I specify the probability distribution for that mixture fraction. So um, uh, so to to illustrate this again uh, in 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 a setting uh, which uh, has uh, nothing to do with turbulent combustion. Uh, if if uh, if uh, if we wanted to um, uh, uh, to specify uh, the distribution of a coin toss, which is uh, which is um, uh, z z zero and one with uh, with uh, even probabilities, uh, we we can say that uh, that the coin that the coin toss uh, zero that the coin toss zero for omega is going to be uh, uh, heads if omega is between uh, 
0 0.5 and 1, and tau C4 mega is between 0 and 0 0.5, uh, with, uh, with, with omega being uh, uniformly distributed uh, between uh, 0 and 1. Okay, so here uh, the new distributions um, I will specify with the, in using the, the latter approach by just uh, specifying them on a probability space. And uh, then uh, with, uh, with the uh, PDF, we, we gave uh, an approach for evaluating statistics. So then for, for the new types of distributions, which we, which we, should, know, we should also give an approach for evaluating statistics. And uh, the approach is quite simple. Uh, instead, instead of, uh, of uh, multiplying by the, uh, by the, uh, by the uh, PDF, uh, we uh, we just plug uh, uh, Z of omega uh, in the uh, in the in the arguments of uh, rho and uh, G. Yeah, should be G. Okay, so now uh, with uh, with uh, with this in mind, uh, let us uh, introduce a uh, uh, round chickens in in a vacuum kind of problem, which um, uh, which um, fl flashes out. Uh, uh, the new the new class of distributions, which I think are better than the bad distribution. So let's consider a two-dimensional solution of our transport diffusion equation, and uh, let's make it real simple. Let's say that the uh, density is one. Uh, let's say that the domain is uh, is uh, the upper half plane. Uh, let's say that uh, the boundary condition is is uh, is uh, going to be a, a periodic square pose, so it would look like this, al al alternating uh, between uh, zero and one. And um, uh, this is just the, uh, the definition of the square pulse. And uh, let's say that the horizontal velocity is zero, the vertical velocity is one, rho is one, and uh, the, um, the um, molecular diffusion is uh, one over some parameter lambda squared. Okay, then uh, uh, this uh, equation, we have a steady state solution, which we should look like this, dz by dx squared equals one over lambda squared, uh, d squared z over, over dx one squared plus uh, d squared z over dx two squared. And, uh, and uh, for very large, uh, for very large lambda, um, we, we will have we will have that uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the 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 separation between the uh, between the square pulses in the x one direction is uh, going to be uh, very small. So therefore, uh, the second derivative in x one is, is going to dominate over the second derivative in, in x two. So then uh, we can say that the solution to this equation is also approximately equal to dz by dx two is equal to one over lambda squared uh, d squared z over dx one squared. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, erase the cartoon. Okay, so uh, here, um, here I'm, I'm showing a, a, a contour plot of, 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 of uh, this uh, solution. So here we have the boundary condition and we have the uh, boundary condition alternating between zero and one. So zero is the white ones, one is the black ones. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, these, uh, these uh, strips uh, will, uh, will uh, diffuse uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the vertical direction. And uh, and uh, and uh, here uh, I'm 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 showing uh, uh, the solution as a function of uh, x1 for a couple of uh, uh, for a couple of heights for a couple of x2. So first we have the initial condition, which is the blue curve, which is just a, a square pulse. Then uh, uh, um, at a slightly uh, uh, bigger height uh, we have the red curve, and slightly bigger height we have the uh, uh, sine curve, and at a slightly uh, bigger height we have the magenta curve. So uh, this is, so uh, this uh, this uh, solution, if we slice it, uh, uh, if we slice it for a constant height, will just will just uh, look like a diffusing square pulse. Okay, and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, if uh, we we want to, to to use this uh, this this solution to represent our probability density function, then uh, then uh, we don't need to use the the entire uh, uh, the, the the entire. Um, uh, Infinite domain for x one, uh, we, uh, we can just we can just use a single half period. So we can uh, we can uh, we can we can just uh, take our our probability probability density function from the solution between uh, uh, between this trough and uh, this peak here. Okay. So then, uh, if uh, we had um, uh, a fixed um, a fixed um, mean mixture fraction and a fixed average uh, average mixture fraction, uh, there will be a unique uh, height. Um, on, on on this solution, uh, for, for for which uh, will be uh, will be exactly matching the um, uh, the variance of the mixture fraction, and uh, by similarity, uh, it doesn't even, it, it doesn't even even matter which uh, which uh, lambda we choose. So we, we can uh, uh, without loss of generality just uh, choose uh, uh, lambda equals one. 
Okay, so uh, this is uh, this is our round chickens in uh, in vacuum problem, which is um, solved by um, the new class of this distribution, and uh, it may not look like much, but uh, but uh, as I just pointed out, the bad the bad the bad distribution cannot even get uh, get that much. Okay, so with, with this in mind, let's introduce the uh, two parameter probability um, um, space diffusion uh, distribution. So uh, the definition is simple. Okay, let's see. We have a question in the chat. Oh, okay, uh, a, qu a question uh, from, uh, from, uh, from 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 Gus Jacobs. Uh, uh, why why am I saying uh, round chickens? Uh, well, uh, that is a uh, that is a synonym for the for the phrase uh, spherical count. Uh, that you uh, you maybe maybe more 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 familiar familiar for that. Uh, uh, around chickens in uh, in vacuum. Uh, that, is, uh, that is that is uh, that is the uh, that is the uh, the the uh, that is the prototypical expression uh, for uh, for 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 a heavily uh, uh, simplified uh, physics problem. Uh, you know uh, the the joke the joke the joke the uh, joke goes um, uh, they are, they asked uh, they asked uh, a, a physicist uh, can uh, can you cure this chi this uh, this uh, chicken illness and he says uh, yes I figured it out uh, however my cure will only work on around chickens in vacuum. Okay, so I was just I was just uh, I was just uh, pointing out that this problem is very simple. Okay, so let's define uh, Z of uh, omega with parameters mu and t to be the solution of uh, of the standard uh, heat equation. Uh, to be the solution of the standard of the standard uh, uh, heat, uh, heat equation for t greater than or equal to zero on the domain x between zero and one, and uh, with uh, Neumann boundary conditions. So basically, um, um, this uh, this uh, z z would uh, would uh, would initially look like that, and uh, and uh, it would just uh, diffuse, and uh, and, uh, even and eventually it, it, it would diffuse to a constant term in value. Okay, and uh, let's say the, the initial condition is um, is is uh, the is the 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 square pulse which uh, which, which integrates to mu, uh, which is the uh, mean, and uh, let's set um, uh, t of uh, of sigma two to, to be uh, the uh, unique uh, time uh, greater than than zero, su such such that uh, the the second moment of of uh, zeta in integrate uh, from zero to one is going to be equal to um, is 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 going to be equal to um, um, the, the is is going to be equal to the uh, mu squared plus uh, sigma squared. So that that is just a that is just a mean squared plus sigma squared. So basically, uh, basically that is the value that, value that the second uh, moment should have. Okay, and uh, it is easy to, it is easy to see that the value of uh, t sigma squared is uh, is uh, is well defined uh, because uh, for a mixture for a mixture fraction which varies between uh, zero and, and one. Uh, the the, uh, the the initial condition, which is the, the square pulse, has the maximum possible uh, variance, and uh, and uh, the variance uh, decreases decreases uh, decreases monotonically until until the variance is exactly zero. Okay, and uh, with uh, with uh, this um, uh, this uh, uh, z z zeta function uh, defined as follows, uh, we are ready to define our two parameter probability space uh, diffusion distribution. Uh, basically, uh, we'll just say that the uh, PSD, PSD distribution is uh, defined by saying that uh, the mixture fraction as a function of omega is going to be equal to the uh, zeta function as a function of omega for the appropriate uh, mean and uh, variance. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, here, uh, of course, uh, omega is, a, is, a, is, uh, is going to be uh, uniformly uh, distributed uh, between zero and one. So, um, it's going to be a distribution of uh, this function um, um, C seen as a, as, a, as a random function of uh, omega with the standard Euclidean metric. Okay, so let me breeze through extensions uh, to multiple, uh, um, to multiple uh, mi mi mixture fractions. Uh, here we'll, we'll focus on the single mixture fraction case. So uh, the two parameter pro uh, probability space diffusion uh, distribution can be used uh, for a combustion case which has two stream, uh, you know, it's fuel and, and oxidizer. And we can say, for example, that the fuel is equal to one, the oxidizer is, is uh, equal to zero. Uh, however, if, if the, our combustor had more streams, 
For example, if it had a fuel and an oxidizer and a pilot, and and uh, those uh, streams were uh, were linear independent, we would uh, we would uh, need uh, more, we would need to uh, to model that case with uh, more than one uh, mixture fraction. So um, so so then uh, to demonstrate uh, that that uh, this uh, that uh, this uh, type of uh, the distributions uh, don't 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 just just work well well for the single mixture fraction case and are completely uh, uh, not applicable for multiple mixture fractions. Uh, here I'll sketch out, uh, I'll define a, an n-dimensional extension for the PSD distributions and, uh, and uh, basically uh, the n-dimensional extension will say that, um, will say that uh, each mi mixture fraction zi is going to be equal to uh, some product of uh, zetas. Um, where, where, e where, each of, where each of these, um, um, uh, uh, where each where each of these um, uh, these omega omega j's um, are um, um, are are uniformly also be distributed between zero and one. Okay, so so here for this particular case, uh, uh, our probability uh, space uh, omega is uh, just an um, uh, n-dimensional unit cube, and I just I just uh, saw that um, uh, we should have an i here, but uh, here the subscripts of the omegas are just uh, j's. The, the, the omegas have only one subscript. Okay, and uh, uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, definition is uh, is uh, is useful because it is given uh, in terms of uh, in terms of the uh, single uh, of the single mi mixture fraction uh, solution. So so then so then uh, th so then uh, that means that uh, we only need need that we that we only need to tabulate uh, zeta as defined for the single mixture fraction solution. And uh, in, and, uh, in, and in particular, we, we we do not need to solve for diffusion in n dimensions. Okay, and uh, some properties of the n dimensional probability space diffusion distribution. Um, if uh, if uh, our z z one to uh, to z n are mixture fraction variables, meaning that uh, they're all positive and they sum up to something less than or equal to one. Uh, the n dimensional PSD as as defined can achieve uh, any. Um, uh, any um, uh, realizable set, set of uh, means, and uh, in and uh, in the uh, two-dimensional case, uh, it, it, it can it can uh, it can only also achieve uh, any realizable set set, set of uh, of uh, variances. Now uh, this is, this is uh, still a work in progress, and uh, and uh, I conjecture that the n-dimensional PSD can uh, match any realizable co covariance matrix, but uh, I haven't quite proven that yet. Okay, so. Uh, now, uh, when the subgrid uh, di di distribution contains a range of um, residence times, so so basically, uh, when 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 the uh, when um, the uh, the subgrid uh, fluid particles uh, entered entered um, uh, the domain at uh, at different prior times, so, um, we expect that the the, the mixture fraction uh, will be closer to uh, zero and one for those um, uh, fluid chunks which have uh, lower residence times. Because they have experienced uh, uh, molecular diffusion for a shorter time, and uh, on uh, quantile plots, uh, this uh, manifest, manifests as a as a positive um, uh, slope at the beginning and the end of the plot. So uh, here we have an example of a of a subgrid uh, distribution with a range of residence time, and uh, here we have a positive uh, uh, slope at the beginning uh, of the quantile plot and a positive slope at the end of the quantile plot. And uh, we can also modify the PSD distributions uh, to account for this. If we say that uh, T is the residence time, and we assume that we know the uh, normalized um, uh, variance of uh, T, which I will denote as, um, as uh, tau, uh, then uh, we, can, we, can, we can define uh, uh, time augmented uh, PSD as false. So let's just define uh, zeta T as um, uh, zeta, zeta T of omega and omega T as zeta of omega uh, with parameters mu and, uh, and uh, T omega T. Okay, so so then uh, this second random variable, um, random event uh, omega t, is uh, is just uh, scaling uh, uh, our time uh, over which we have diffused, and uh, this uh, second uh, random variable uh, omega t is is uh, going to, is going to to vary by uh, by a truncated uh, gamma, gamma distribution, uh, which is uh, which is uh, arbitrarily uh, truncated uh, to be um, uh, to be higher than uh, zero point twenty five. And uh, we'll come. We'll come back to that uh, uh, soon. 
Okay, uh, then uh, with uh, this uh, definition of uh, zeta t, the time augmented two parameter PSD is uh, going to be uh, basically, uh, we're going to set the, mean, the mixture fraction as a function of both omega and omega t, with omega be uh, varying uniformly from zero to one, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, omega, omega t being, uh, uh, being, uh, being, uh, in, being independent, and we set uh, z of uh, omega omega t to be the z the z t function and uh, similarly for the n dimensional psd we can just uh, we can just uh, substitute uh, uh, z z t of of uh, of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, omega j with with the mu i j's and, and the tau i j's uh, for every uh, z of omega j okay so uh, so this this is is the new distribution. So, how can they be implemented uh, numerically? So, uh, these distributions uh, avoid running afoul of the strong maximum uh, principle, but uh, are they computationally practical? And uh, the short answer is uh, yes, because uh, we only need to uh, need to tabulate uh, zeta and uh, zeta t, which are which are respectively uh, which are respectively a uh, um, one-dimensional function with uh, two parameters and a one-dimensional function with uh, three parameters. Uh, sorry, a two-dimensional function with three parameters. So uh, these uh, these uh, are are uh, quite uh, easy easy e easy to tabulate, uh, especially if um, if um, uh, if uh, you if uh, you you are used to to tabulating uh, reaction source terms where you are um, where your tabulation space may be fifty dimensional. These are just uh, these are just uh, low dimensional, so they are quite easy to, to tabulate. And uh, if we have the zetas, we can get the statistics uh, using our our, our statistic equations. So we just plug in the z of omegas uh, for O and F. O and G actually. Okay, uh, so, so then uh, one may ask, well, do we have to do an integration for every point in, in our 3D domain? Do we have to do this integration for every point in our 3D domain? And uh, technically, uh, yes, but um, you know uh, uh, this uh, uh, this is also uh, this is also something which technically needs to be done for the beta distribution as well. However, uh, in practice, uh, the, the way the way that uh, this is done is uh, by building a, a flame table uh, where basically uh, we are tabulating the statistics of uh, G, G of Z uh, versus the pertinent moments of Z. So we will be tabulating um, uh, G of Z versus versus uh, Z Z tilde and Z square tilde. Okay, so uh, this this is uh, this is uh, all all, uh, all well and nice uh, in in terms of uh, of uh, theoretical uh, de developments, uh, but uh, let let us, let us actually test the performance uh, quantitatively. So it's nice to satisfy the strong, strong maximum principle, but can we measure measure if the PSD distributions um, uh, quantitatively perform better than the better distribution? And the answer is yes, by comparing them. To the solution of the transport uh, of a transport PDF solution. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of um, of this um, uh, talk, uh, the transport PDF solution is inherently more accurate because uh, because it uh, makes no, no assumption on the PDF shape. Uh, it it um, it uh, it affects it uh, explicitly. No assumption is made on the distribution shape. So, therefore, uh, if we have two assumed PDF solutions and uh, one of them matches a transported uh, PDF uh, solution better in terms of the subgrid uh, distribution, then uh, that assumed PDF solution is the more accurate one because the assumption is just better. Okay, and uh, we can test this uh, simply in an a posteriori fashion, basically uh, just run a simple um, transported PDF uh, test case and, uh, and uh, take at, uh, at, at a point, uh, evaluate the, the, mean, the, mean, the mean and, and variance of the mixture fraction uh, Reconstruct the uh, the uh, the, um, uh, the assumed PDF uh, distributions that is given by the beta and the PSD distributions, and uh, see which one matches better the uh, transport distribution. Okay, so let me introduce our test case. It's a simple uh, 3D jet uh, test case. Um, the uh, the um, spatial evolution uh, evolution equation is is a simple um, uh, stochastic differential equation. We have the drift term here, the diffusion term here. Um, and uh, for the uh, for the for the evolution of the of the of, of the composition variable, uh, we only have a source term which uh, corresponds to molecular molecular mixing. And uh, this molecular mixing is defined by the uh, EMST model introduced by Subramanian and, and Pope. And I use this particular um, model because uh, uh, because uh, it is it is um, uh, it is uh, local local in composition space, whereas uh, 
uh, whereas uh, something like the more popular um, IEM model uh, is not, and to, that model is itself unphysical. So uh, the uh, the EMSD model is is uh, one one of the best um, subject uh, mixing models that we have, and uh, I, I will I will I will skip the uh, the uh, the definition of the of the source term because we're short on time. But um, you, you can you can you can take a look at the reference if you're interested. Uh, but uh, the important part is uh, is that the, the the mixing rate is uh, directly proportional to the um, to the molecular diffusion. And um, inverse proportion to the um, to a filter size and the number of points in that filter. Okay, uh, the velocity filter is uh, going to be uh, simple. Is uh, going to be a sim a simple uh, point source. So so basically, my domain is going to look like this. And uh, and uh, and I have a point source whose origin is outside the, the domain. So the velocity field would would uh, basically look uh, something like this. And, um, and uh, I have um, uh, gamma equals uh, one here and uh, gamma equals zero here. So, so, so this, uh, this velocity field uh, basic, uh, basically uh, models, uh, 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 models uh, a simple uh, free shear jet. Okay, with uh, R defined uh, in this way, uh, spe speci specifically uh, the origin uh, starts uh, below the domain. And uh, uh, here uh, in this uh, specification, we still have a couple of free parameters. We have the turbulent um, uh, diffusion coefficient, and we have the, the molecular diffusion coefficient. And uh, and uh, and um, to test um, um, uh, the accuracy, I, I I've run uh, six uh, test cases with different value uh, values of uh, turbulent and molecular diffusion, which are representative of an OES PDF simulations simulation and. Uh, uh, the inlet boundary condition, as I mentioned, it is uh, z equal to one if um, if, if the uh, axial radius is less than zero point four, and z equal to zero otherwise. So that's basically a, a fuel jet in a, in an air cold flow. And uh, and the uh, the domain is is just a cylinder of uh, radius uh, one point two and of height um, uh, two point four. And uh, and uh, here uh, to 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 compare uh, the the overall uh, the uh, the, to compare the overall distribution, we uh, we, uh, we we compare the distributions at uh, nine points. So uh, in uh, in uh, in in particular, we 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 have three points at uh, at uh, z equal zero point five, z equal one, and z equal one point five, which are at approximately uh, which are at approximately um, a mixture fraction of zero point five, and we have. Uh, uh, three uh, rich points and we have uh, three lean points and uh, on the next slide um, I'll, I'll report the error uh, over over those nine points. So we have uh, three points each for uh, x, x3 equals 0 0.51 and 1.5. And uh, to measure the, uh, the, the, the overall er error in the distribution, uh, basically we're taking uh, the, the L2 distance between the quantile curves. So here the blue curve is the, is the is is the correct distribution, and uh, then um, and then um, uh, the, uh, and then uh, the air, the error is um, the difference between um, between either the red and black curves to the blue curve. And uh, and uh, now uh, uh, to obtain uh, the uh, the the transport PDF for the distribution, however, that 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 isn't a, a that isn't a simple ta task because. Um, uh, because the, TP, the TPDF solution is uh, is uh, is uh, Monte Carlo, so as, so um, uh, so uh, so uh, there is, there is going to be some uh, sampling error. So to, to obtain the sample distribution, basically uh, we uh, fix the uh, radius from the axis and we fix the height, and uh, and uh, and uh, we average uh, over over all particles which are uh, which are uh, within a ring with um, uh, with that radius and uh, height and uh, and. Uh, the ring has a vertical and radial width of uh, 0 0.02. And uh, we average over 15 different uh, simulation times. So with the simulation with 100 million uh, particles overall, we get about um, 50,000 uh, particles in that ring. And, uh, and, and that allows us to get uh, a fairly resolved, uh, uh, a fairly, a fairly resolved quantile function for the uh, TPDF sample distribution. So here in particular, this blue curve, uh, there is a sample distribution which uh, uh, which uh, which looks uh, which looks quite well, but um, uh, you know uh, uh, it 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 looks it looks uh, that th th that well because we have uh, fifty thousand samples and um, and uh, because we're using the quantile function, which uh, 
uh, which works uh, better for sample distributions. Okay, uh, so um, so so here, here is the end result. So here I'm showing the uh, the maximal errors in the beta function and the average errors in the beta function, maximal errors in the uh, PSD functions and the time augmented PSD functions. And uh, and uh, basically what we can see is that uh, for every, for every single case, uh, the uh, uh, the PSD distribution error is lower than the beta distribution error, and the time augmented PSD distribution error is uh, is even lower than that. And uh, on average, if we were to average over the six uh, test cases, uh, uh, the two parameter PSD distributions reduce the L2 error by about a third. And, uh, and, uh, then, the, and then the time, the time augmented PSD distributions um, uh, reduce a little, a little bit more than that. But, uh, but um, on, on, on average, uh, I, I would say the PSD distributions reduce the error by about, um, by about one third. Okay, and, uh, and uh, here uh, we... We we have we have uh, we have uh, some com some comparison uh, of the quantile plots uh, for representative points. So again, as I've mentioned, uh, the true distribution is uh, this blue curve. Uh, the beta, the beta di the distribution that uh, goes from corner to corner is uh, this red curve, and uh, the PSD distributions are the black ones. So um, uh, here uh, I I have also um, uh, shown the uh, specific uh, L two differences. Uh, between the assumed uh, PDFs and the uh, true PDFs, uh, but um, but uh, as but as you you can you can also see also see uh, qualitatively um, the the uh, the new the new distributions the um, uh, PSD distributions the black curves are are in um, in uh, in uh, in better both qualitative and quantitative agreement uh, with the blue curve than the uh, than than the beta distribution. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and specifically uh, here, we, uh, we, can, uh, we can also see the uh, benefit of the time augmented uh, uh, PSD distribution because, uh, because the, uh, the, the regular one has uh, slopes of uh, zero at the beginning and end of the quantile plot because it is just, it is just a diffusing, uh, a diffusing uh, square pose. Uh, whereas uh, the correct uh, blue curve has positive slope and the time augmented uh, and the time augmented uh, uh, PSD distribution uh, captures uh, this behavior and, uh, and, uh, and, and allows us to reduce the error uh, a little bit more. Okay, uh, so what about the residence time? As I mentioned in the time augmented uh, PSD uh, distribution, we assume that the residence time distribution is similar to a, to a gamma di distribution. So this is just a chunk edit uh, gamma distribution. And uh, as it happens, uh, we, we, we can we can we can test this by just um, uh, keeping track of the residence time in the in the TPDF solution, and uh, this assumption happens to be uh, well justified. So here, here I'm having uh, here I'm showing plots of of the correct um, uh, residence time distribution, which is the black curve, and uh, and uh, of uh, and of um, of our our gamma uh, uh, distribution uh, with with uh, that uh, with uh, uh, with the um, with the same uh, relative uh, variation in in the residence time. So uh, here, here uh, we can see that the gamma distribution approximates the the correct resonance time distribution uh, quite well. So um, and uh, and uh, and uh, and we can and we can also see that uh, here the mean resonance time is about uh, uh, zero point one eight, and the variation about the mean resonance time is uh, low. So so in uh, in particular the the actual resonance time does uh, does does doesn't uh, drop between uh, below half the the mean residence time. So, uh, so, uh, so, so then uh, this uh, this uh, arbitrary cutoff value for omega t of uh, of uh, a quarter of the residence time is uh, is uh, is inconsequential because because omega t doesn't really uh, doesn't really drop that much. So this arbitrary truncation at omega t equals zero point twenty five has a little effect, but uh, it is done it is done uh, mo mostly for mostly for, uh, for, for theoretical purposes uh, because, uh, because uh, if uh, we allowed uh, if, uh, because uh, if we allowed uh, omega, omega t to drop uh, all, the, all the way down to zero, uh, then in our time augmented PSD distribution we would have a case which has, uh, which has zero, zero residence time and, uh, and, uh, and that case would uh, violate uh, itself the strong maximum principle. Okay, so uh, here we're matching the uh, residence time variation well, but uh, I should note that uh, this uh, flow is uh, is uh, is uh, geometrically uh, simple, and uh, I predict that the residence time variation will be much more challenging to capture in a flow with uh, significant recirculation, such as, for example, a, a, a bluff body flame. Okay, so uh, this brings us to our conclusions in future work. 
So in this work, we brought to light the mathematical flow of the Bayer distribution when used in uh, APDF methods. Specifically, the flow is that the solution will not uh, satisfy the strong maximum principle. And um, we can see the effect of this on the quantile plots. Uh, the actual quantile functions don't, uh, don't, um, uh, uh, don't go from uh, all the way from zero to one. And we've defined a new class of distributions which uh, avoid this flow. And um, those uh, have been tested here for a single mixture fraction, but uh, they can be extended for a multiple mixture fraction fractions into a, a model residence time variation. And um, similar to the Bayer distribution, uh, uh, the use of these, uh, these uh, new distributions would require some tabulations. So these distributions are not inherently computationally more expensive to use than the Bayer distribution. And uh, we have com compared qu uh, quantitatively with the uh, assumption error with respect to a transport to the solution. And uh, for every case, the PSD distributions are more accurate. And uh, on average, the error is reduced by a third. And uh, we've also seen that the time augmented PSD benefits from a good uh, model for residence time. So in future work, uh, I will um, implement this, uh, this uh, distribution into a full uh, uh, flame and progress variable solution uh, for a flame and, uh, and uh, explore if uh, further accuracy improvements are, um, are possible by, uh, by, by optimizing the shape of zeta at uh, t equals zero. So that, uh, that, that is, the, that's say, the initial shape of the, of the square pulse. So here, uh, for my initial condition, I use the square pulse like this, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, but uh, I have an intuitive, intuitive feeling that, um, uh, that uh, if I use a, a, a correct uh, a specific um, a specification of, of a square pulse like uh, this, uh, then, uh, uh, then, uh, then, then we can get uh, further improvements in accuracy. Okay, and uh, for future work, I'll also explore residence time effects uh, in a flow which is circulation. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, are there any questions? And uh, if anyone was interested about my references, they're here. Thank you, Pavel. Uh, questions for Pavel? Okay, maybe I'll start off with a question. I looked at the comparison of the transport PDF that you have with beta and the new distribution you proposed. There's two things, right? Obviously, they all agree with the mean and variance are the same. So the central parameters are same. Mm -hmm. But so there's two sources of deviation. One is the shape deviation of the distribution and the tail heaviness. Right? Uh, right you quantified the errors and would, would be nice to know which is the dominant source of your contributing error. Is it the tail heaviness or is it the shape? Because it's not just one source. There's two sources I see of your deviations of the quantile plots. Right, well, uh, well I mean, uh, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these distributions are, um, are, uh, are on a, on a compact uh, sample space. Uh, so, uh, so bounded distribution, I agree, but even within the bounded distribution, you can think of the extreme of the bounded distributions as your tails, right? And so the, the people have looked at and statistics, uh, uh, tail heaviness of bounded distributions. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, you've gone this different route, uh -huh. well, why when there's all that work? And second is you have these two uh, deviations in the central part of your, uh, region and the tail re end regions, which contributes most to your errors? Well, um, uh, I, uh, I, 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 uh, I, I haven't, I have I haven't uh, explored, uh, explored uh, that, uh, that, uh, that so far, but uh, this, this is definitely something, something which is, uh, which is uh, worth, um, uh, which is worth uh, looking into. Now, um, um, now I would, I, would, I myself uh, would, uh, uh, would, um, would, uh, would, uh, would, uh, would predict that um, uh, that um, uh, that, um, that the uh, that the tail uh, heaviness uh, would be would be a factor uh, only 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 in uh, cases which are, which are either very rich or very lean, and uh, those cases uh, uh, those those uh, those 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 cases. Uh, 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 Typically, typically in uh, in in combustion uh, aren't aren't uh, aren't uh, that, that that sensitive 
uh, th that's sensitive uh, to the modeling because uh, very very rich uh, compositions and and uh, and 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 very lean ones uh, don't react um, um, don't react really. Uh, but uh, but uh, this this is this is the uh, this is uh, the De definitely a question worth exploring. Well, Pavel, isn't that kind of the point of improving the, 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 the assumed uh, PDF that you get, uh, uh, let's say, better understanding of what happens in the tails? Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, yes. Uh, so, so, so the, uh, the, so, so the, 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 the beta, di the beta, di excuse me, the beta di distribution, uh, the, uh, uh, the beta distribution violates uh, the uh, strong maximum principle because because uh, its tail uh, by default uh, always have to, has to go all the way to one. Uh, so uh, so uh, so so in uh, in um, in this in in this uh, respect, uh, you 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 can say you can say that. Uh, that um, uh, that um, that uh, the the debate uh, distribution here is uh, is uh, more tail heavy. Mm. So I'm, I'm not familiar with as Gus or others on, uh, on the transport PDF. When you do transport PDF in your subgrid, you uh -huh. do Monte Carlo for assigning your particles. Right or your material? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, you're solving for an ensemble of yeah. particles. Correct. There's an inherent assumed stochasticity you're ass assigning there. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I was wondering how, the, because I, I, I heard you say there's no assumption made in the transport PDF, and therefore that's my true solution. I, little bit uh, confounded by that statement. Can you clarify? Well, uh, so uh, uh, the tran the transport uh, uh, the transport uh, PDF the PDF uh, makes uh, no assumptions uh, on 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 the uh, PDF's uh, shape uh, uh, in the sense uh, that uh, in the sense that um, uh, that um, that um, that uh, in that in the limit uh, as 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 the number as the number of particles uh, goes to infinity, we will recover the exact. Uh, the exact uh, PDF shape as uh, as predicted by the focke planck equation. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, in so in uh, in this respect, uh, the 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 transport uh, PDF uh, PDF is uh, is uh, inherently more more accurate because uh, because because um, uh, because uh, because it um, because it uh, solves the the focke planck equation. Whereas, 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 uh, whereas, uh, uh, whereas, uh, the, uh, whereas uh, the, uh, the, the assumed, uh, whereas, um, uh, whereas uh, the, whereas the assumed, the assumed uh, PDF equations, um, base, base, basically, basically, uh, solve, um, uh, uh, solve um, in integrated uh, versions of uh, uh, of the focal plane plane equations. Uh, which uh, which uh, which gives uh, which give a standard uh, partial differential equation for uh, for for the average and and, and the variance and uh, and uh, and then and then the shape is uh, reconstructed from that. Okay, thank you. I guess I have one uh, more question myself. Is uh, why, why did you pick a three-dimensional problem uh, to test uh, your your uh, PDF on? You, you took the source term right with three velocity components. Can you? Uh, right. um, can you one-dimensional right. problem. Right. Well, um, uh, so uh, so um, uh, uh, in fact, uh, in fact, I uh, in fact I I tested the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the uh, the the PSD uh, the PSD distributions uh, on um, on on uh, two th 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 types of uh, problems. Uh, one, 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 uh, one, which, which, which uh, was uh, was a one-dimensional diffusion diffusion case, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which I do uh, I do also uh, also report in um, in the manuscript, but but uh, but I've uh, skipped here for in the interest of uh, brevity, and uh, and the other one which is the two-dimensional case, and uh, here I decided to omit the the one-dimensional case uh, because 
uh, because um, um, uh, because in in uh, in uh, in high in in in, hand, in hindsight uh, that 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 one that one has um, that one has uh, geometric uh, similarities with with uh, the round chickens in, in uh, vacuum problem, and uh, and uh, and um, and um, and, um, and, uh, and there and therefore um, uh, uh, therefore uh, for uh, therefore uh, for for that one for that one uh, we we sh we should uh, we uh, we should uh, we should. Uh, we should rightfully expect that the, P that the PSD uh, distributions um, uh, do 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 better than, than the bad than the bad distribution because uh, they have been they have been defined with a with a similar ge geometry in mind. Uh, however, uh, however uh, the uh, however the the three dimensional problem, which which is which is uh, 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 which, is, uh, which, is, uh, which uh, has a similar geometric. Uh, Features uh, as, as 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 many flanks. Uh, that 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 one that one has uh, has nothing to do with the round chickens in vacuum problem, and uh, and um, and um, and uh, it it is more uh, representative of uh, actual uh, combustion simulations, uh, which is why I decided to go with that one. Pavel, uh, yes. let's thank Pavel one more time for a nice talk and have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks, Pablo. Thank you, everybody.